This is the plaintiff, Bradella Foy. She says she bought some lottery tickets at the defendant's store. She hit it big, and the defendant's son demanded a big tip. She felt uncomfortable about giving him money, and as it turns out, the defendant is refusing to give her the winnings she's owed. It's like he's holding her tickets hostage until she pays an unfair tip to him for selling her the tickets. She's owed $2,717 and is suing for just that today. This is the defendant, Ali Asala. He says the plaintiff was short nine bucks for the tickets she had purchased and told him to hold on to them while she went to an ATM to get more money. His son isn't allowed to hold tickets, and the plaintiff tricked him into doing it for her. When she ended up winning before he was paid in full, he called the lottery office to report what happened. Now she's suing for something she never paid for. Preposterous. He's accused of lousing up the lottery. All parties, please use your right hand. Be seated, come to order, please. Yes. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, ma'am. Bradella Foy? Yes. You are suing Ali Essele and Evergreen Mini Mart Incorporated. You're the owner, Ali Essele? Yes. Okay, for $2,717 that you say you are out as a result of them, I guess you're saying stealing your lottery, your winning lottery tickets. What happened? On April 17th, I um, played $59 worth of lottery numbers. Initially, at I, their store. At their store. What time were you there? About somewhere between 7:15 and at night or in the morning. In the, in the evening. Okay. I called out $49 worth of numbers, and the last few minutes I gave a a, a play card and told them to put it through two times, which would have totaled $10. I um, how much did you have on you? $50 bill. Okay, but as it turns out, everything you bought was $59. Right. Right. And, and, after I played the um, lottery card, checked my tickets, I asked the son if I could, um, if he would hold it. I gave the ten dollars worth of tickets back to him, and asked him would he hold them until I went to the ATM machine to get the rest of the money. Okay, so the fifty dollars worth of tickets you had on you, but the ten dollars, you know, in order to cover the nine dollars, you told him just hold on to that. Right, and I'd be right back. He didn't understand me at first. Okay. And when I re-explained to him, he thought I wanted him to hold the tickets until the next day. I said, no, hold them. I'm going to the ATM, and I'll be right back. Now, they have an ATM at the Minimart. Yeah, but I never use those ATMs. I go to my bank and use that ATM. So that there's no service charge or less? Right. All right, so on this day, then, you were going to your bank, and your bank was how far? Um, a few blocks. About okay. five, five minutes away. Okay, and why did you away. think that they would hold it for you? Because they had done it before. The father had done it before. This is the father. Mm -hmm. The son is how old? I, I, is he a I teenager or a least... child or what is he? No, he's a high school. High school. So he's how old? 16. 16. So you leave the $10 worth of tickets with him and you go to your bank. Mm -hmm. And when do you come back? After 8. After the numbers were called? Right. Okay. And when well, you come back, you come back with $9? No, I come back because when I got to the ATM machine, my bank ATM machine, I checked the lottery app on my phone and see that you I have, have an app, a lottery app. But <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> well, she's new at this, right? Okay, you checked the lottery app, and yes. what did it tell you? Uh, that I had won. That you had won. And yep. How much had you won? Twelve thousand dollars. Twelve thousand dollars. God bless you. And when you drive back. The, were any of the tickets that were in your hand winners, or no? It's the ticket, the $10 ticket that you left with him. The 12000 was the tickets I left at the store. 12000 And I had 3,000 winners in my hand. So you won 15000 that right. night? yeah. Wow. Good for you. So you come back, and what do you say or do? The father's holding my 20 tickets in his hand, spread out like a deck the of cards. The 20 tickets are the $10 worth of tickets? Mm -hmm. Okay, go on. And um, he's saying something to the son in Arabic, and I don't know what he's saying. And I asked him, can you cash one of my tickets so that I can pay the $9? And that's when he asked me, how much are you going to give my son? And I hesitated for a moment because I hadn't intended to give his son anything. <laughs> but since he had my Jeez, tickets... you're greedy. You got the <laughs> kid held on to it. Instead of saying, no. That's the ticket. The 12,000 of your winnings were because he was nice and said, go ahead. So he says to you, how much are you going to give my son for being nice? And what do you say? $100 after I hesitated. 
-hmm. You hesitate, then you say $100, mm -hmm. and then what happens? I asked him again, well, can you cash one of the tickets? And he went over to the register. He seen he had um, only $200. He gave me a $100 bill, $50 bill, two 20s and a 10. I give him the 10 back. He gave me a dollar back. And then he gave me my tickets. Okay. And then, so you still had some money left over, though, on that ticket. So right. they gave you and some kind of put, credit. He put the 300 balance that I had, because he took the 100 tip for the son, and, right. my 200. Then there was 300 left. He um, pulled out a gray notebook and asked me how to spell my name, put my first name down, drew some lines, and I told him I was all right with playing the rest of the numbers through the week, you know, because I play every day, especially if I hit. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a couple times a day. So you, yeah, so do, you tell actually. him that, so what is it that he wrote in his book? That it was 300, three? that I had a balance of 300. Okay, and then now you have in your possession everything minus 600 and something bucks or whatever it was. Mm -hmm. It's in your possession. Right. Oh, happy day. But then something happens. The next day you get a phone call, right? Well, a few days later. The, before I left, I paid $25 of the 300 for the midday the next day. Right. That leaves me a balance of 275. Okay. Then the next day before midday cuts off, I come in, I play $58 more. So that leaves you a balance of 217. Right. Okay. So now you got a $217 credit there, and what happens? When I come in the store, the girl told me that Ali had left a message for me that he would be able to cash three of my tickets. So she called Ali, but he wasn't available right then. So he called back before I left. And he, she gave me the phone, and I talked to him. He said he could cash three of my tickets, that um, he would be there in an hour. And I said, OK, I'll be back in an hour or two. So I went, left, went So do home. you come back, and does he cash your tickets? He asked me for how many tickets I got. I said, well, you said you could cash three. I said, can you cash a fourth one? All right, so you hand him the tickets, and what happens? He was keeping the tickets, because I didn't pay for them the night before. Wait, he what did he say? You didn't pay for these. I looked at the camera, and you didn't pay for these the night before. And I'm looking at him like, yes, I did. You cashed the ticket for me, and I gave you the $9. He went from that to no, because when you came back, you was broke. And I reiterated again, but no, you gave me $100, a $50 bill, two toys. I went through the you know, whole thing. So what was he trying to say, that you came back empty-handed so you were never going to pay? If you had lost, you wouldn't have paid, so why should you get the tickets? Yeah, Is that what you're... What are you trying to say? You no, kept the four story... winning lottery tickets to the tune of $2,400 that you didn't play or pay for. So tell me what happened. <sighs> getting hot in here, isn't it? No, because, because when I get mad, I can speak English very good. Oh, so I, I think you can take... find the words. Go ahead. Anyway, she come back after the time. And my son, he told me, I tell her to come before the time. This is... Before rules. the time, meaning you're referring to when the drawing is held? Yes. According to her, you have let her do that in the past. No. She before says you let time, her... Before the time comes. Before, no, I know. Before yeah. this time, there were other times where you let her yes, go to yes, the bank. But she come in in the time before the number Right, show but up. she's not a she... snake who leaves and then leaves you with tickets and then leaves you having to pay her $9 or $20 or whatever it is that you fronted. So in this time, before what made this time. different? That it was a lot of money and no, you want it? it's before the time. Anybody come before the time, he'd get the ticket. The time is finished, he got no ticket. So That's tell me it. what happened that simple. night. Simple. Yeah, it's simple, yeah. except it's not what you did that night either, right? Yeah, yeah. She no, it's not me. what you did that she night. She tricked me. She, she tricked, tricked me. Yeah, she, she I, tricked I wasn't you. there. No. I come in a time when the number was in, and I was busy, and she come inside, she was broke, she got no money, I know her. She bring every time the money just for ticket. Her life is only ticket. And I, I for this, I sometimes I give her back her ticket because I know this is what, what she's doing. I give her the ticket when the time come, but when the time passed, I'm not going to pay from my pocket Except for, you for did. something Stop. she never Stop. paid Stop. for. Stop. No. Stop. You did. Yes. That night, no. you did. You looked at her she, and you I said, her, just a minute, yeah, okay, you cashed right. one of the tickets and you gave her her money. Yes. Then you took the $9 and then you told her, what are you going to pay my no, son? No, no, no. And my then son, she gave he, your son a $100 tip. My son, he never told me first night. He was scared. Because he know if if he they play if they play. Is your testimony to me right now 
<laughs> that you did not know what happened that night no, when you gave her the I money? I don't know nothing. You had no conversation with her? I don't know nothing. I was busy and I tell her so just So you had no conversation her. that night? No, I talked to her, but I don't know. What did you talk to her about? She never pay. I don't know she pay or not. You when do know, because you talked to her. And you when were I there take talking. the ticket like this, she said, I tell her, okay, how much is for my son? This, uh, oh, you did uh, have a conversation. Yes, I tell her, but I thought How she much is for, for my it. son? Because you felt that your son should no, be tipped I thought she for being a nice guy. It. Okay, I need you to listen to me. I want to know about the discussion that you have with her that night when she hands you a ticket, you give her how much money? $200, yeah. $200. I put $200. Back, uh, $300. She gives your son a hundred dollars, and you give her credit, and she plays that credit. Yeah. Did that I don't happen? Know nothing. How, what happened? What yeah, made it different the next nothing. day? You thought about it, and then you wanted to keep the yeah. money. That is it. So you thought about it, no, and then decided not. to keep the money. Nobody tricked Can you. You changed your mind. Can I finish my story? You know that that night it was her ticket, and you were making yes. it her ticket, and you but acted like yes. it was her and ticket. I let her what go. did you do the next day? And I let her go. Oh, that was big come back. Okay. So and then the next day, me, you me. have her, you were assistant or something, because all he wants to say, he's going to cash your tickets, right? And then when she hands you the tickets, you go, ha, 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 it's mine. And then you're saying that she tricked you. Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. Good idea, bad idea for somebody who is not filthy rich to play the lottery. What do you say? Very bad. Why? That's Why? very risky, very risky. But it could pay off, right? Just throwing your money away. You could win $100 million. Yeah, but that's one in what? One million, ten million chance. Got, somebody's got to win. No, it's still. What good. do you say? I say that's a great idea. Take a risk in life. You can, you can come out big. Have you ever bet? Yes, I have. Have you ever won? No. no. Oh. <laughs> Going inside the courtroom. Did you I, trick her? I never trick her. I take the ticket. I called the lotto first thing. I and what did the, the lotto, lotto do? Let's talk about the lotto. The what did the lotto, lotto do? The lotto said it's yours. They said what? It's yours. It's mine. They did. That's very interesting because yes. I have the report because, from the lotto. Yeah, the lotto. I canceled the whole lotto. You canceled the lotto. Yeah. Give me the report from the lotto. Mm -hmm. You canceled the lotto. Yeah, I canceled. I called them to cancel. Yeah, because I'm you tired canceled of the lotto. People okay. like this coming in the yeah. store. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not giving six thousand dollars for somebody not paying nothing. That's the incident. Well, here's the report by the Buffalo police officer who Which sent this. Which one is two of them? Good one and Which one? Oh, good one and bad one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, show me the. Is, yeah. No, no, show me. Um, one any, of them he could I want to see any police one, reports you have. I you got have? nothing. Oh, okay. So then it's the only one yeah. I have, right? And according to this yeah, one, which one, let's see. Or cousin or. Ms. Foy went to the store and handed Ali three tickets valued at $600 a piece because he had said he was gonna cash them for you. Ali asked her if she had more tickets and she handed him another ticket valued at $600. At which time, Mr. Ali Esake told her that those were his tickets because she did not pay for them the day before. According to both parties, an argument ensued. Mr. Esake admits to personally cashing three of the winning ticket at Wegmans really? and Topps Market in suburban Amherst, New York and states that the third ticket, which is currently in my possession, who's my possession, the police officer, mm -hmm. it, it was canceled the by ticket. the New York State Lottery. After explaining to Mr. Ezeke the error in his judgment and the deliberate means he took to deceive Ms. Foy, I again reminded him that according to investigator Putnam, his, Putnam is the investigator from the lottery, mm -hmm. his lottery machines would be shut down that evening and that his gaming permits and license would be revoked. I further advise them that as the investigating police officer overseeing the permits investigation of the city of Buffalo food store license, that I would consider his actions a detriment to his character background investigation and would notify our permits department to reconsider approval of his business license going forward and that he was putting at risk his New York State liquor license. He pleaded for an opportunity to make the matter right and stated he only cashed the tickets to pay some bills he was behind on. He asked could he pay Ms. Foy all the money he owed her in weekly installments of 150 or 200 until it was all paid up. And what did Ms. Foy say? Ms. Foy agreed to this arrangement. Did he pay any of it? No, he reneged on it. The April 29th, we were supposed to meet that Friday at 6 o'clock. That would be, have been the first payment? Yes. Yeah, and I would, if I was a betting woman, I would bet that your lottery system got shut down after your phone call to the lottery, right? 
back to these investigators. After one because week. Putnam and Quintana both don't like you. They yes, think you're a thief. Yes, I know. And so do no, I. No, because my I name. also think you're a thief. Yeah, because, because those weren't your name. tickets. No, no, you know no, they no. weren't your tickets. She, they now cost you your lottery business. See, here's yeah. the thing. I would agree with you if that's the agreement you had. See, I'm about contracts. If you don't pay for the ticket, you don't get the ticket. Yeah, but exactly. here's the thing, not according to you. You allow people to leave and come back and bring the money. Wasn't your me. son allowed him to leave. You know why your son's not here? You wanted your son to lie, but your son's not standing next to you because he has more integrity than you do. Good God above. Pay the lady, $2,717. Hey, and you know what? Give back the $100 tip to your son, too. That's going to come out of your pocket <laughs> because that was for handling it like a gentleman and not a thief. Okay. Thank you. So the plaintiff does prevail. The Mr. Sala, the defendant's just coming out of the court. You really got, you caught it from the judge. Let's put it that way. Yes, I think... I don't know. They go with the customer. Listen, more the police the report. This is you. not the police or cousin that. police. Uh, this what is the you, you, You're out of the lottery business now, yeah, right? I, I know, I know. Yeah, okay. Because well, there's too much people like this right. come and Well, I know, listen. I know how they according to the law, you lost yes. big time. Yes. Thank you very much. You. Okay? Yep. That's the way. Now, here comes Miss Poy, who's the plaintiff. I would think you're feeling pretty good about now, yes, aren't I you? Am. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a rough road to go through. Yes. Congratulations for filing a lawsuit. Thank you. And for going to court to do this. Thank Take you. up for yourself. Mm -hmm. What have you? And you play the lottery every day, 50, 60 bucks. How much money have you won? Uh, do you know? Have any on all through the years? A lot of money? <laughs> Are you ahead or behind? How about that? <laughs> I'm not what sure. they ask folks to go to the racetrack <laughs> all know. the time, you know? <laughs> I'm probably still behind. <laughs> still behind? All right. Well, listen, right. thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Harvey, what do you think? Got to tell you, when you play the lottery, you better make it clean. You start getting somebody else involved where somebody owes somebody money, there will be a lawsuit. That will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.